the improvements that have been made are exciting. And so, you know, we felt like we had the right people in place to finally tackle um, introducing a, a new product to the marketplace. And the, the greatest thing about it is we're using all the same technology. Right. Same structure. Uh, we're just changing the internals to make it a closed circuit. So all the benefits that Tower Tech has with the open circuit go into the closed circuit. Um, and so it'll be a hybrid uh, closed circuit cooling tower as well as, as well as an air cooler. We'll have three different options uh, to introduce to the market and we'll expand from there. But this is the first real new product we've introduced um, since our inception. Yeah, that's exciting. So it's pretty exciting <laughs> to, uh, to be expanding out. Yeah, very cool. So what, where would a closed circuit tower be uh, an advantage over an open circuit or the combination? Yeah, you, you know, there's there's quite a few different, but just to name a few and more, some of the reasons we, we decided it was important for us to pursue is um, it definitely can provide um, savings for water where maybe water right. is, is more scarce or more expensive. Um, you know, we're seeing a lot of uh, data centers move to closed circuit type operations. Um, and then food processing is another important one where it's important to keep the the the, you know, con the process water uh, separate and, and not in contact um, with the environment to keep it clean. And so you know, there's lots of different opportunities um, for closed circuit. We've done really well um, growing our company and, and you know, being successful with the, with an open circuit cooling tower. Yep. To have this new exciting product uh, right. for, for us is, is going to open some new doors that yeah. we're excited about. Very cool. And, yep. and I guess for people that are not familiar with a closed circuit tower, essentially you're changing out the, the water dripping through the film, film media with piping and a heat exchanger, correct? It's right. a lot like a radiator in your car. Um, you know, we have coils inside the cooling tower. Um, so the water flows through the coils and you know, are separated from the atmosphere um, to keep it clean and keep the process clean. And, um, you know, the hybrid cooling tower still utilizes some fill media to where you can you can still um, distribute water over the fill media to cool it more so you get better cooling out okay. of the, the coils. But where, like I said, where it's important, uh, water's scarce or water's costly, or you have um, an environment where um, the ambient temperatures allow you to operate without having to utilize water, uh, you can get uh, dry air cooling. Mm -hmm. um, it's a strong benefit.